Hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech. In this particular video, I'm going to tell you five things you should do if you have purchased a new Mac. So we are not going to waste any time, but if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. So the very first thing you have to do after setting up your Mac is just simply go to system settings, which you can find in dock or else go and select Apple logo on the menu bar and then select system settings. You will get a pop up screen like this. On the uh, settings page, just simply go down on the left hand side and look for trackpad option. Now, if you are using MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, you will find this option. So select trackpad and in that select point and click option. Now in point and click, you will get an option of tap to click. Make sure this toggle is on because if this toggle is off and if I try to select anything by just simply tapping on my trackpad, it won't register the click. So in order to use that tap feature on trackpad, make sure tap to click option is on and later on if this option is on if i click or if i tap on the trackpad by pointing my cursor to any particular option it will select that so this is very easiest way to register a click also if you want to know more uh, trackpad gestures you can just simply go to more gesture option or else you can go to any particular browser and you can search for apple trackpad gestures and uh, this is the link uh, this is the apple website on which you will be able to check out more gestures related to your trackpad so you can find all the gestures over here you can uh, take a look at it uh, also i have made a dedicated video on trackpad gestures you should know so i'll try to put a link for that video in description below so guys the second thing you can do is just simply turn on battery percentage now currently you can see i am able to see the battery icon on the menu bar but i'm not able to understand that what is the exact battery percentage remaining so to turn it on just simply go to system settings again you can find it in dock or or else go and select that apple logo and then system setting now this time you need to go to control center option and in control center go down and look for battery option now in battery you will find an option of show percentage now currently you can see as i told you i'm not able to see the battery percentage in order to see that turn on this toggle and now i am able to see the battery percentage now the next thing you should do is you can simply add applications which you use on daily basis to dock so you don't have to go to launchpad each and every time and then select that application to open it simply add that application to dock now how can you add it for that you have to go in launchpad now if you don't find launchpad option in dock simply press command plus space bar on your keyboard it will activate spotlight search and in spotlight search you can search for launchpad select launchpad uh, launch in launchpad basically we'll be able to check out all the applications which are installed in your mac now suppose if i use netflix on daily basis i want to uh, add it to dock simply click and hold that application like this and drag it on the dock and you can place it wherever you want and just leave it now uh, next time onwards i don't have to go to launchpad and select netflix i can directly select it from dock similarly if you are using any productive uh, software or application on daily basis just simply add it to dock and you're good to go now there is one more additional thing you should do and that is you can customize dock however you want you can add magnification option you can increase or decrease the size of dock and to do that again go to system settings and this time you need to go to desktop and dock option now over here you get multiple uh, options related to dock now first of all if you want to increase or decrease the size just simply go to size section hold this toggle and you can move it like this to increase or decrease the size again you can add magnification effect so currently you can see magnification is off and if i'm pointing to any particular software over here it is not highlighting it so in order to turn on magnification just again hold this toggle and you can uh, keep the magnification effect to small or large depending on your requirement i am keeping it over here now once the magnification is on and if i try to point on any particular application you can see you will get that magnification effect if you want to increase it make it too large and now you can see you can also control the magnification effect as per your requirement so if you don't want to use it you can keep it off but these are some customization option you can uh, do with dock and there is additional thing you can do in that is uh, you don't want your dock to be visible each and every time then you have an option of automatically hide and show the dock if i turn this on now you can see dock is hidden and whenever you want to access dock you can just simply point your cursor down and the dock will be visible now if you want your dock to be visible each and every time then make sure this particular toggle is off and later on it doesn't matter on which screen you are 
doc will be visible next is if you are more concerned about your privacy then do this setting just simply go to system settings over here which you can find again in doc this time go down and look for privacy and security now in privacy and security you get uh, multiple options over here if you go down you get an option of camera now if you select camera it will basically display the applications which are using your camera so you will find an option to turn it off i will show you an example later on but yeah if you want to control which application should have your camera access just simply go to camera look for the applications over here the list will be automatically uh, displayed over here and you can turn off the toggle if you don't want to provide the permission if you want that app to have camera access then you can turn it on now how it will look let me show you an example uh, the next setting again you can do is for location services so uh, in location services it will display applications which may require your location access now for some of the applications you can see i have turned off the toggle and for uh, for reminder i have kept it on but i don't think reminder need uh, location access so i am going to turn it off similarly in camera you will find the list like this either you can turn it on or turn it off so if you want to maintain your privacy make sure you don't provide uh, location services to each and every application for weather or some other application you can provide but if you think any particular application doesn't require your location just simply turn off the toggle now it will also maintain your privacy and it will also help you to preserve the battery life so this was for location and camera there is one more thing if you go back on privacy and security page after camera you uh, you will find an option of microphone so again in microphone uh, if you don't want to provide microphone access for any particular application just turn off the toggle for that now currently you can see i'm not using any application which has microphone access but in your case if you are using any particular application it will be displayed over here so yeah these are some additional settings you can do to again preserve battery life and to maintain your privacy so that's pretty much it for today's video guys these are some simple settings you can do at the initial stage if you have purchased a new mac if you have found this video informative don't forget to like and subscribe uh, i'll see you all in the next one thank you